Hey, happy 4th of July, everyone. Um, got a little time, so I figured I'd come down. Some of you on uh, Facebook had been asking about the sweep. A lot of people over the time, as they see the uh, videos from the front, have uh, said, oh, it's a Brunswick A2 sweep, or, or rake. And um, I hadn't really gotten into the details of things, but uh, again, because we're patent pending, I can do all that right now. So I'm going to actually explain my uh, sweep design to you. It is unique. Uh, it's like nothing that's on the market uh, currently. Or that it ever has been as far as I'm aware. It kind of might look like, uh, you know, some people say, oh, it's a GSX because uh, of what it does or it's a this or it's that. But it's unique and there's nothing, uh, again, on it, on the market that I've ever seen related to it. So we'll go into it. Um, one of my criteria for design of the sweep was that it had to operate with one motor. Unlike uh, a Brunswick GSX, which requires two motors. And then... Um, I'm not sure of all the other sweeps uh, out there on the various machines, but I know in A2 uh, it's very complicated with all its mechanical components. And then um, the AMF sweeps do operate with one motor. Um, but again, very different design uh, between a 30 and an 80, 8270 and then my design. So what we have here is we have the sweep motor mounted at the front of the machine. And you can't see it, but I have... a three switches that are mounted down behind here. So they're position switches that tell my PLC where the sweep actually is at certain times. Um, on the newer production units, those switches are now exposed so we have access to them. And uh, we've redesigned that whole area a little bit to give us better access. And this crank arm, instead of being just a crank arm and then having a cam in back, actually has the cam uh, machined right into the crank arm. So now that I have some CNC machining capabilities, I've been going through and redesigning some of the components to take advantage of that and actually minimize parts. Um, so we're doing that and uh, so far it's been working out pretty good. But uh, that's on the newer machines. I can still show you a little bit here what's going on. But uh, here's our connecting rod that runs back to our sweep arms and then up to the main part of the sweep. So size wise, uh, this is probably, if you were to scale it up, it's probably close to the height that a GSX sweep would be uh, as far as these rods here up into the top of the machine. I haven't actually measured it, but it's probably somewhat close. Um, so moving along, what we have is a, uh, I'm going to zoom out here a little bit if I can. I guess not. This is my sweep uh, cam roller arm, I call it. On the front here, there's a, a, can, a roller. And this is actually a cam. Uh, and the new machines, this cam is actually a lot shorter. We actually transitioned from this cam down onto the machine frame. Again, a little redesign allowed us to do that, make that part smaller. Uh, but what this cam arm does is it has this rod that runs down and connects to the front part of the sweep here. And um, it's just as this roller is tracking along this cam, it's controlling the height of the front of the sweep down here. So all in all, it's a really simple design. Uh, it can take a hit very well. The sweep as it's down by the lane is actually angled slightly back like this. So if a ball hits it, uh, instead of being a full on frontal hit, it might kind of like lift the sweep up a little bit, but it would stop the ball. And then if the sweep happened to be at the back, uh, a lot of times the ball would actually go underneath the sweep and into the pit. So the sweep just kind of rises up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this for a second and uh, get it down into the down position and then we can talk a little bit more about that. Okay, I'm back. I've put the sweep down. So as you can see, the cam has come down, or the cam roller has come down and is sitting at the bottom of the, the cam now. And um, I can reach in here and you can see. So as I lift, there's the sweep going up and down. And again, you can see the sweep is actually slightly angled back. And uh, I mean, I can whack that pretty good it's not going anywhere so it's a pretty solid design I'm very happy with it um, but that's overall the design so I'm gonna now run it uh, I'll do a cycle and let you see what it looks like from the side and uh, I'll do it a couple times just so you can really kind of see how it does run and what goes on with it okay I've switched to a uh, wider angle here so hopefully you can see everything and I'm going to go now and trigger the machine and you can uh, watch everything run from the side. And 
there you go. We'll do it one more time just so you can take another look at it. Okay, so I'm back here. There you saw the operation of the sweep. Um, again, part of the criteria was that it used one motor. Uh, that's for if there's an off spot, I didn't want to have to have a lot of things going on to get the, the sweep to come back up. One of my earlier designs actually used two motors, similar to a GSX, but I wanted to get away from that. And uh, as I said, all in all, working very well. The next couple days we'll be getting into the uh, turret. Uh, here you see that one. This is actually my new turret, and um, it's uh, revised design, uses far fewer parts. In fact, uh, there's the old one on the floor right there. Uh, you can see the difference with the chutes and uh, all the parts that made that work to build those chutes. So it wasn't the easiest thing to uh, put together. So we sat down and then came up with this, this new design. Uh, I'm currently building a production one right now, and uh, in the next couple days I'll do a quick video, uh, be able to show you that one uh, when it's all set. So, again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, as always. And uh, again, hope you have all good. Have a yeah. Sorry about that. Hope you have a good fourth, all of you. Till later.